if a line that you think is humorous doesn't get a big laugh the first time, should you kill it and move on to the next line? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. One of the most important lessons I've learned about humor in speaking comes from the comedy world. My mentor, Darren, was originally a comic before he got into speaking. The lesson he taught me is that when you're testing material for humor, don't expect to get a big laugh the first time. In fact, when comedians are working with new jokes and setups and punchlines, what they're looking for is some type of visible reaction. It might be a hmm, or a snicker, or a smile. That's all they're looking for. They know that a joke, just like a good story, is an evolutionary process. Or creating a good joke is an evolutionary process. They don't seek the huge laugh in the beginning. If they get it, that's a bonus. But they're looking for those seeds of potential humor. When you're working on a new story and you come to that killer line that's supposed to be the one that brings the house down and it doesn't work, Test it out. Make some changes. Perhaps your punch word is buried in the middle of the line and needs to be put to the end of the sentence. It could be your delivery. Maybe you need a pause. Perhaps a facial expression. The point is, don't give up on a line because it doesn't get a big laugh the first time. Great humor, just like great stories and great presentations, take time. Work on them. Test them. Give them at least three chances before you decide to Get rid of it and move on to the next one. Talk to you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.